Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, the 30th of August. Where the heck did the summer go? I'm a summer girl, so it is, I know, all over Facebook, everybody's wanting their pumpkin spice and their sweaters and their boots. Not me, man. I still want my bathing suit, my flip-flops, and my iced tea. Yeah. As you can see, every cabinet's open because I am emptying the dishwasher. <coughs> um, so today I thought I would bring you along for a full day of eating. It's been a week, my friends. It's been a week. Um, you know, if you watched my vlog, you know everything that went on this week. Between the boys going back to school... I mean, Andrew, sort of. I mean, he's right in Philly now. But, um, you know, Adam being back to school, the wedding, poor Malsey. It's been a week. It's been a week of emotions. It's been a week of just craziness. Thank goodness I am not an emotional eater. Because if I was a, an emotional eater, I probably would have gained 10 pounds this week. Um, but luckily, I don't do that. I stress exercise. So that's a good thing. Um, but that being said, it was a rough week of eating. Number one, like just not, you know, between taking smalls to the vet and then taking them back to the vet and then, you know, what we had to do and like, it, it just has not been good eating. We have not been eating healthy. We've sometimes we've just not been eating and that's not good either. <laughs> um, so it was just a really bad week food wise. Uh, the wedding, I definitely overate at the wedding and, but that's okay. Life happens and it's how you handle when life happens. Uh, you can't let it handle you. You have to handle it. And did it handle me for a few days? It did. It did and I gave myself grace for that, but boom, right back to it yesterday. We went down the shore yesterday but we packed all our food, um, everything. I, I did have a Dunkin' uh, iced chai, but it fit within my, well within my calories. You know, I still ended the day exactly where I was supposed to be calorie-wise. That video is coming out. It was supposed to be filmed last week, but then when our world turned upside down, it got kind of off film and got put on the back burner. So I am going to get that filmed this week or this weekend. Um, I just need to get my head back on. So anyway, I'm just going to bring you along for the day. Um, it's 7.30 already. Doug's been at work for a half an hour. Um, that's about it. That's about it. Um, I'm not sure what else I have to do today. My car is in the shop for an oil change. We have a garage right near our house. Um, he's our regular mechanic. He's wonderful. We trust him completely with everything. And so we just take our car right there for an oil change. Um, it's so easy because we drive it over, walk back home, and they'll probably have it most of the day, which is fine because I really don't need it. I do have to go to the post office later to mail something, but it'll be a nice little walk because the post office is only about a half a mile away. So that's that. Um, i trying to think if there's any other updates. I don't think so. Chicken Jackie is doing pretty well. Um, I, she's definitely starting to grow. Um, we just need her to really grow. I'm still worried about integrating her in with everybody else, but um, we'll see. Four of the teenagers have started laying. We're not, we're, we know Willow, Ahsoka, and Jersey have started laying. And we're not sure who the other one is. We think it's Daisy. We have not caught them in the act yet. Um, but we are definitely getting eggs from them. Let me see if I can turn you around without turning the camera around. Eggs for days. Um, we don't, I don't like to give the small little fairy eggs away. We just use those. So I've got to package up some eggs and give them to the powers that be. What else? I guess that's about it. Um, just gonna, like I said, bring you along for a full day of eating. I forget, oh, I have to take dinner out of the freezer. We're having a pork loin tonight. Um, so anyway, 
I'll be back to chit chat later. I want to get the rest of this dishwasher emptied and get my kitchen straightened up and decide what my plans are for today. I need to make bread for sure today. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any canning. I have some basil that I need to dry. Um, I did chives last night. So yeah, it's, it's that time of year. Although things are starting to slow down now in the garden. Um, we're not getting like, you know, 20 pounds of tomatoes a day, but I still do have a decent amount of tomatoes. I might make another batch of tomato soup. I figure it doesn't hurt to have that on the shelf because I could eat tomato soup every week with a grilled cheese sandwich. So we'll see. I don't know. Not a whole lot of plans for today. Um, looking at my book. I haven't even made my to-do list yet. I need to get back in routine. Definitely. Next week, it'll be much easier, I think, to get back in routine because I will be back to working five days a week. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier, I think, this fall because instead of having four or five kids, I'm only going to have two. The max I'm going to have each day is two kids. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to that's gonna feel good. Um, we'll see. But I don't know. I have mixed emotions about it. Definitely mixed emotions. We'll see how it goes and go from there. But um, this Thursday is the last day I'm gonna have a ton of kids here on one day. And we've got a great little craft to do. Where is it? I know, I'm just rattling on and on because I don't feel like emptying the dishwasher. So I bought these canvas pencil bags. They're just um, like a off-white canvas. And I bought fabric markers. So I am going to let all eight of the kids on Thursday design their own pencil case. If they want their names on them with the Cricut, I'll do that and then they can, you know, decorate them however they want to do it. So that'll be fun. Um, I have a few little things to do for Andrew's classroom but he wanted one more bulletin board. He wanted a schedule for the kids. So I have that almost all done. We're gonna go back, I think on Saturday, I think, to finish up his room. Say a prayer that his teacher desk comes in, because if not, it's gonna be a hot mess in there with him trying to do stuff. So say a little prayer that his desk comes in. Um, he had his first, like, yesterday was their the teacher's first day of school. All this week is orientation for the teachers and he was his head was spinning he was overwhelmed but i told him everybody's a first year at some point and he will be fine he'll figure it out so he's excited though okay this is ridiculous i've just rambled on for eight minutes i'm gonna go and enjoy my tea empty the dishwasher and figure out what's going on today Okay, breakfast this morning is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six of my sourdough pancakes with a little bit of stevia sweetened chocolate chips in there and two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. Okay, friends, it is time for lunch and I want to take a moment to tell you about the video sponsor, Uba Home, that's U-B-A, home they were kind enough to send me this plate it is their portion plate it's actually really pretty it's white it's porcelain um so it's microwave safe dishwasher safe it's not plastic you know how i feel about plastic the cool thing about this plate is it is divided into three sections as you can see and it is a you could use it for a whole lot of things but it's a portion plate the biggest side, of course, should be filled with your veggies. And then these other two sides should be filled with proteins and grains. I'm not having any grains for lunch. I'm having fruit, so that's what I used. This is the absolute, you know how I love my picky plates. You know I am a picky plate girl. This is the absolute best plate for picky plates because nothing touches. Things don't run like the, the juice from the vegetables or the fruit is not running onto my protein. The juice from the fruit's not running onto the veggies. I absolutely love it. This would make a great plate for a toddler who doesn't like their food to touch. So a lot of different uses for this. Um, 
you can find a healthy eating plan at ubahome.com and you know a whole bunch of different things there I already told you it is microwave safe oven safe you can heat all your food together it's dishwasher safe you don't have to use multiple bowls it's just a really handy plate and I really thank Uba Home for sending this to me I will leave links in the description box below you can go check out these plates and see if they are something that you could use on your journey so my lunch today on my Uba plate is I have some grape tomatoes sprinkled with Redmond's Real Salt. I have a cucumber, medium size, sprinkled with Redmond's Real Salt. I have two and a half ounces of turkey breast. I have three quarter ounces of raw milk sharp cheddar cheese. And I have one cup of mixed cantaloupe and watermelon. So that is my lunch for today. Okay, we are going to get dinner ready. Um, I have been busy afternoon doing a few little crafty things. I'll show you those later. Actually, it's just for Andrew's classroom, so not really crafty stuff. Um, we are having garlic mustard pork tenderloin for dinner. So the pork tenderloin comes two in a pack. I kind of knew that and I kind of forgot about it. Really don't want to, but it is what it is. So we're going to be eating this for a little while. So I am just going to put some Dijon mustard. Oh, I have my oven preheated to 350 throwing these in a cast iron pan little Dijon mustard on each one it's been sitting so I've got some um, juice here I'm gonna dump out I put them in there and then didn't get to it there we go so we're gonna just brush the Dijon mustard on the top and the sides And then, oh, I forgot. I wanted to salt and pepper it first. We'll just salt and pepper it now. What's it matter? Just plain old pepper and some Redmond's Real Salt. It's my obsession lately. Oh my goodness. Never thought salt could taste like this. And then in this bowl, I have olive oil, garlic, sea salt or there's some more Redmond's real salt and Italian seasoning and I am just going to brush that I doubled it because I had two tenderloins here the recipe is on my website I think it's like two teaspoons it's two teaspoons of olive for one pork loin it's two teaspoons of olive oil a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, three cloves of garlic, and I don't know how much salt because I don't measure. And then we're just going to brush that on. That is it. That is how quick and simple this is. Then it's going to go in the 350 degree oven just like this for 30 to 40 minutes until the meat thermometer comes out to whatever pork is supposed to be. Some people like their pork a little bit more on the medium side. I like my pork well done. So that is it. That is going right in the oven like this. And spread that out a little bit more. And while that's going, I think I'm gonna do a couple side dishes. And that will be dinner. Okay, sitting down to dinner. This is the pork loin that we made together. It is absolutely delicious. One of my favorites and just so easy. So I have four ounces of that. I have um, three little, no, four little of the uh, little potato company potatoes that I get, like little new potatoes. I have four of those with a half a teaspoon of butter and Redmond's Real Salt. And I have some eggplant that we just threw on the grill in a grill basket. So that is dinner tonight. It is, I'll have to put the points and the calories on the screen. So my friends, that is it for me today. I did tell you I would show you the clipboard I made for Andrew. So for the last two years at his college apartment, their theme was, we'll figure it out. Andrew continues to use that theme today and he wanted, we'll figure it out 
on his clipboard. So I cricket it. He got this. We just got it through Amazon. I cricketed that on there today. And that's on the part like where his papers will be. So nobody will see it but him. And on the back where like if he holds it, people will see it. We put the school logo and we put Mr. Stetzer. So that's done. I worked a little bit on his last bulletin board today. Got that all done. I think we're going to go Saturday and finish up his room. He's so nervous. Please pray for him. He's really, really nervous. Um, he's got a very difficult class, a very, um, there's a couple strong personalities. That's what we'll say. There's a couple strong personalities in his class and he's a little concerned, but I think he'll be fine. Um, so that's it. Um, if you're looking for something to do with a pork loin, definitely make that recipe. It is so quick, so easy, and absolutely delicious. And don't forget to check out Uba Plate, our sponsor for this video. It is a really cool plate, especially if you like picky plates. Like, it is the perfect picky plate plate. That is like my picky plate plate for now on. It is perfect. It's perfect for portions. It's perfect that nothing runs into each other. I absolutely love it. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave links below, of course. And that's it for me tonight. I'll leave a couple videos right here. And I will see you all when I see you. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share.